Hello folks, the most awaited camera behemoth in the world of smartphones, the Xiaomi 13 Ultra, is officially launching on April 18th. The company already said it will happen this month and finally set the date. The images reveal it will once again will have a humongous circular camera island, but this time with four separate shooters. The 13 Ultra will be a shot above the competition, not without the strategic partnership with camera company Leica. The smartphone will have a new Leica Vario Semicron lens, and by the writings between the lenses, we assume the main shooter will have a f1.8 aperture, while the f3.0 will be for the telephoto camera. There is a dual LED flash on the left side of the camera island, which is slightly different from all the renders we've seen. Speaking of renders, yesterday brought the clearest ones, suggesting flat sides of the phone, but 2.5D curved sides of the display. Specs-wise, we expect a 1-inch type Sony IMX989 sensor for the 50 megapixels main camera, a 50 megapixel ultrawide angle camera, and two 50 megapixel telephoto shooters, one with a periscope lens underneath for extra zoom, the other for portrait images. Having the popular Sony IMX989 1-inch type sensor here is great, and Xiaomi has already had more than a year to optimize it as this is the same sensor it has already used in the Xiaomi 12s Ultra and Xiaomi 13 Pro flagships. Having two telephoto cameras is also a huge advantage, as the only other mainstream phone with such a feature is the Galaxy S23 Ultra. The images you see right now are our first look at the actual capabilities of the Xiaomi 13 Ultra, a phone that many would consider the one with the most advanced camera hardware on the planet. But what is different in these images is not just about the hardware, but also the soft, natural look of photos that is the closest we have seen to a traditional camera. In a series of official images captured by the Xiaomi team, we see a stark difference to the excessive over-sharpening on competitor phones. In the first set of images with the tree, you can clearly notice the first picture has a very natural look, and yes, that means there is also far less tracking than the artificial photo on the second shot, where you can see some wild colors and crazy over-sharpening. But also notice how the much larger 1-inch type sense on the Xiaomi coupled with its fast aperture allows for a good amount of background blur, which is again something we see typically on dedicated cameras, but not smartphones. The Xiaomi team has also shared a few other photos to illustrate the capabilities of this camera system. Xiaomi clearly went for something completely different from the current smartphone processing that we are so used to seeing. Colors look realistic, with an almost cinematic, film-like quality to them that is very genuine. The team also shows a few pictures captured with the zoom camera and having fast aperture on both the 3.2x and 5x zoom cameras allows these cameras to be quite useful in even slightly darker conditions, where typically smartphone telephoto cameras fail us. Of course, we are yet to see that the Xiaomi 13 Ultra will live up to those promises in real life. The phone will be officially unveiled next Tuesday, April 18th, and that's when we will know all about it. The event is scheduled for 7pm in China. It is a global launch, meaning we might see launch dates and prices for the international markets. Meantime, Oppo believes the Find X6 Pro is the best camera phone on the market, and it appears that DxO Mark agrees. The phone got 153 points, topping the all-time rankings, one point ahead of the Honor Magic 5 Pro and three points ahead of the Huawei Mate 50 Pro in third place. Oppo launched the Find X6 Pro along with the Find X6 last month in China. The smartphones are part of the Chinese company's flagship series and come with top-end specifications and features. Coming to the camera test, DxO Mark said it took photos and videos in different environments such as outdoors, low light, and indoors along with portraits of people. Overall, the phone is recommended for capturing landscapes and portraits as it manages to grab a lot of natural light in all lighting conditions. The Oppo Find X6 Pro's large image sensors are also said to prove beneficial for excellent texture and noise results in photo, zoom, bokeh, and video. Low light photography is usually the toughest when it comes to smartphone cameras, but the Oppo Find X6 Pro have a good performance. The photos had a lot of image information and detail, and the color rendering was also well managed according to the results. The smartphone's night mode also proved to be better than its competitors as it captured better detail on faces. As explained by DxO Mark, the photos captured excellent sharpness in portrait scenes, good bokeh rendering, and accurate focus even in low light conditions. However, there are still some areas that need improvement. DxO Mark detected some instabilities in shots and videos in specific environmental conditions, and skin tones are not natural in some shooting conditions. 
Thomas, the phone seems to be inconsistent with the exposure metering in both stills and videos. And due to the main camera's 1-inch sensor, you'd need to take group shots from afar, because otherwise not everyone will be in focus. The limited depth of field is an issue with all big sensor smartphones, though, and it's not limited to the Find X6 Pro alone. Guys, thanks for watching this video, please share it with your friends, see you in the next one, good luck to all!